Takano has a tandem cockpit layout with the instructor in the rear cockpit and the student in the front cockpit. Let us look at the panel layout in the front cockpit. In the centre of the main panel we have the flight instruments. On the right hand side the engine instruments. And on the left hand side the three trim gauges and the transceiver control head. On the lower dash panel, we have the landing gear selector and indicators, the audio control panel and armaments control panel. Moving down the centre of the dash panel, we have the HSI control panel, the VHF2 control head and OAT gauge, the compass control panel and parking brake selector handle the master armament safety switch and the leg length control knob and the flying control lock. On the right side of the lower dash panel we have the central warning panel and below that the fuel panel. Let us look along the right side panel. At the front we have the cockpit lights control. Electrical indication. Air conditioning control. Electrical control. and the ice protection panel. At the aft end of the right side panel we have the external intercom control switch and the oxygen selector. On the right side wall we have the circuit breaker panel and in the front cockpit only at the front of the circuit breaker panel we have the in-flight circuit breakers. At the front end of the left side panel we have the engine start control switches, exterior lighting, trim isolation, stall warning isolation, and an alternate transmit switch. The single lever control engine throttle with a friction adjust knob, the flap selector lever, the emergency engine shutdown lever, with the seat height adjust switch beside it. The air brake standby up handle and the landing gear standby down lever. On top of the main instrument panel we have the clock A space for the gun sight when armaments are fitted and the standby compass. In the instructor's position in the rear cockpit many switches have overriding control over the front cockpit. These switches which have overriding control are painted yellow.
For solo flight, the rear cockpit switches must be in the front position. For solo flight, certain non-safety critical services are controlled from the front cockpit only, such as air conditioning, the control lock, exterior lighting, the air brake standby up handle, the armaments control panel, and the VHF-2 standby control head. In the rear cockpit, there is an armaments monitor panel. The in-flight circuit breakers are in the front cockpit only.